part three, we are going to continue to solve linear equations. And we will focus on solve linear equations with x, the unknown, on both sides. You will find this on page 104 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, y equals mx plus c to success. Now, example three. Solve the equation. Can you see that the unknown is on both sides? So the first step, mark the like terms. Like, 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 like. Now, transfer the like terms to the same side. So this positive free y will go over it and becomes negative free y. This negative free will jump over and become positive free. And now I just simplify both sides. So this will be 4y. This will be 11. I divide 4, I divide 4, and the value of y is 11 over 4, or 2 and 3 quarters. Okay. If you look at this one, so this is the solution. So the solution of the, the equation can be a fraction, it can also be a negative number. In this one, still mark the like terms, so like, 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 like. Now, jump over. This negative 3x becomes positive 3x. This positive one becomes negative 1. Then 5x plus 3x, that will be 8x. 6 minus 1 will be 5. I divide 8, I divide 8. Always the value that's in front of x. So then I will get 5 over 8. Now you can swap the sides and say x is equal to 5 over 8. Okay. Okay, I want you to do the following sums. Do try now three. Do number A, number C, number F, as well as number G. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Try now three. Let's start with number A. So 11x plus 7 equals 6x plus 7. 11x, 11x, plus 7, plus 7. So get the like terms on the same side. So rewrite the 11x. To cancel this positive 6x, it will be negative 6x on both sides. I add negative 6x on both sides. So I have negative 6x. This cancel, and there's the 7. Now to cancel the negative 7, oh, the positive 7, I add negative 7 to both sides. So that cancel, and I have negative 7. And then I'm just going to say 11 minus 6x, that's going to be 5x. And then 7 minus 7, what is that going to be? That's going to be 0. So I divide by 5, I divide by 5, the value of x will be equal to 0. Again, I can test my answer by saying, if I substitute 0, it's 7, 0, it's 7, because this term will become 0, this term will become 0. Okay, let's look at the next one. I'm just going to make space. So number C. So 13 equals 20 minus 9x. Now in this case, let's first mark the like terms, like, like. Like Now remember, the number grab the sign in front of it, so mark it from the sign. Now in this case, you can leave the negative, let's leave it, or you can take it to the other side. Okay, but just for, for because students usually forget that negative, let's leave it on this side. Now this 20, positive 20, if it goes to the other side, it will become negative 20. Because to cancel positive 20, I will subtract 20 on both sides. Then I will have negative 9x and 13 minus 20, that will be negative 7. And now, this is very, very important. I, whatever stands in front of x, the coefficient, that's negative 9. Not just 9, negative 9. So I divide with negative 9 on both sides. So the answer will be 7 over 9. Okay, that is number C. Let's do the next one. Number F. So it's 2 minus 3x equals 3x plus 11. 
So again, let's just mark our like terms. Like, 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 like. Get the like terms on the same side. Okay, so let's just rewrite this negative 3x. So if this positive 3x cancel, it's negative. So if it jumps over, it becomes negative 3x. Let's rewrite the 11. If this positive 2 jumps over, it becomes negative 2. And this will be negative 6x. And 11 minus 2, that will be 9. And now I'm just going to divide by negative 6. Divide by negative 6. And my answer will be negative 9 over 6. But it can simplify because I can divide 3, divide 3. So it can simplify to negative 3 over, ooh, over 2. And that's going to be negative 1.5. So number F, where's number F? That's going to be either negative one and a half, or you can leave it like this, or negative 1.5. Everything will be correct. Okay, and now we're going to do that final one. And that's number G. So 8 minus 3Y equals 6 plus 2Y. So, like, 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 like. So, rewrite. Don't rewrite 3y. It's negative 3y. That sign is connected to that term. If this positive 2y jumps over, it becomes negative 2y. There's the 6. And if this positive 8 goes over, it becomes negative 8. So, what is a negative 3 and negative 2? If the signs are the same, I keep the sign and I add the two numbers. What is 6 minus 8? If the signs are different, I subtract, so it's 2. And I take the sign in front of the biggest movement, and that was 8. And then I divide negative 5, and I divide by negative 5. The value of y is positive 2 over 5. Now, if it's exact a decimal, like it's 0 0.4, then you can write it as a decimal. But if it's not exact, if the, if the digits just go on and on, it's better to leave it as a vulgar fraction. Okay. And that's how you will work if you see the variable on both sides.